Hello, Game Mom is back. In this video, we're going to unlock all swords in Blocks Roots. Guys, it took me 100 hours to finish it. But before starting, you can show your support. Maybe using Starcode Gamer Nom, when purchasing your Robux. Just a disclaimer, guys, every time you use my Starcode, I get paid. Where the Ector slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. By the way, guys, do you remember my noob to max level using the Fox Lamp? Guys, I don't want to waste that account, so I decided to unlock all swords in it. So guys, let's go. First up, we're going to start with the first C. So guys, this is the easy part. Located at the starter island, guys, the sword dealer, you can buy katana and cutlass here. So both will cost you, I think, 1,000 bellies each. There you go, 1,000 bellies, cutlass and katana. Also guys, you might notice that we already have the saber in GTA. So while grinding this account, I accidentally got those swords. Guys, okay, Saber, you need that to head to the second C, right? And this is a max level account. Okay, so that's it for our first two swords. Next up, guys, located at the Pirate Village. And for the NPC, we have the Sword Dealer of the East or the West. Something like that. There you go. Let's check it out. The West. Okay, the West. So for the swords, first we get the Dual Katana. There you go. It will cost you 12,000 bellies to buy it. There you go. There are no other requirements. Next up is the Iron Maze. So guys, this swords were uh, reworked on the past update, so make sure to try it out. 25 bellies is the price of this Iron Maze. Okay, moving on. Next up, guys, located in the Frozen Village. And the NPC is called the Sword Dealer of the East. There you go. He has the Triple Katana. This sword will cost 60,000 bellies and the reworked pipe now this pipe has some uh flame effect on it so guys again all swords were reworked including the triple katana so again for the pipe this one will cost you 100,000 bellies here it is there you go okay there you go sabo's weapon next set of swords are located at the skylands you just need to look for the master sword dealer and with this NPC, same with the previous ones, you can buy two swords. First one is a dual-headed blade. Actually, guys, this one really looks good. Oh, I bought the Vicento first. Vicento will cost you 1 million bellies. Also, you can upgrade this into V2. You need to defeat a white beard. This boss is spawns, I think, 5 or 6 hours at the Marine Fortress. So we're gonna do that later. But first up, this is the Vicento V1. This is a heavy weapon. See that effect? So next up guys is the dual headed blade. So this one will cost you five oh sorry four hundred thousand bellies. There you go. Okay. Raging wind is a really good skill. <laughs> okay, so guys moving on. Next sword can be found at the prison. So guys, here is the prison and there is a boss here named Chief Warden. So you just need to feed him. And he, there's a chance that he might drop his weapon. Okay, the Warden Sword. One of the longest swords in the game. The well, Warden Sword. For the next sword, guys. Sorry, uh, I kind of hurried because the, the saw appeared at the middle town. And you need to defeat this in order to get his weapon. But sadly, we did not get his weapon on this uh, try. But here it is, guys. The Warden Sword. The previous sword that we got. And please don't attack me. Okay, okay, you're dead. <laughs> Don't worry, guys, we won't be getting bounty from him. <laughs> Just one click here, and okay, he keeps on attacking us. Okay, boom. <laughs> Anyways, guys, again, middle town. Here is where our long boss spawns, and you just need to defeat him for a chance to get the shark saw sword. There you go, finally, we got it. Okay, here it is shark saw. Okay, next up guys, we are back at the Skylands and located at the upper sky, there's a boss here. There you go, Thunder God guys. Thunder God, this boss will drop the pole. So guys, again, for those who don't know, we have a pole V2 and we will be unlocking that later. Guys, uh, spoiler alert, this is the last sword that we unlocked the pole V2, so you will be seeing it at the third C, okay? Okay, there you go, Paul. So for the Saber, we already got that one. 
Anyways, this is the pole. There we go. Not bad. Okay, so guys, moving on. Next island is the Magma Village. So here, there's a secret entrance. So just head to the left side facing uh, they call this the entrance of this island and there you go. See that guys? Okay, just navigate through here and there you go. You will find Living Skeleton or Brook and he will sell you the Soul Cane for 750,000 bellies. Okay, almost done with the first sea guys. Next stop, next island is located at the Whirlpool. Inside it is the Underwater City. You just need to defeat the boss here again for the drop. There you go. Fishman. Oh, sorry. It's Fish Lord. <laughs> Fishman Lord. So this uh, boss has two sets of lives. There you go. He will transform. But you can burst in if your damage is too high. There you go. We got the Trident. One of my favorite swords here. Even though this is not a sword. <laughs> there you go. So are we done with the first C? Hmm. No, 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 guys. Still have the V2, right? So again, Marine Fortress, loud tremors are being heard across the seas. So guys, you need to defeat this to get, uh, what do you call this? I forgot the name. Vicento V2. There you go. Also, guys, the Saber, the one that you need in order to head to the second C. Guys, if you want to get V2, you need to defeat a character that has a bounty of 1 million. Also, you should also have 1 million bounty or more. Okay, again the requirements to get V2, beat someone with 1 million bounty. Also, you should have the same bounty or even more. Okay, so guys, now second sea swords. Are you ready to unlock all second sea swords? Okay, so first stop, guys, located at the same area. Oh, there are lots of bounty hunters here. <laughs> Anyways, for our first sword, it is a boss drop from the diamond boss. So just uh, left side of the cafe. So if you're facing the cafe, uh, right side. Here, guys. There you go. There's a diamond boss. And again, this is kind of tanky if you're level 700. So yeah, we're already max level. So this one will be easy. There you go. So again, there are lots of bounty hunters here. There you go, guys. We got the long sword. See that one? Using Awakened Doe just to attack me. And let's hide here at the cafe. And I'm going to show you the long sword. There you go, guys. Long sword. Okay, there you go. This one really looks good. Also the skills. I made a video of using all the skills, guys. Next up, guys, located the green zone. Again, another boss. The boss here is Fajita or Fujitora. There you go. He will be dropping the gravity cane. So, guys, if we're just talking about the effects. Also, guys, if you I think you mastered this cane. This one's really good for PvP. There you go, gravity cane. So this uh, sword has the skills to push or pull you towards him, right? Not bad. Okay, so there you go. Moving on, guys. Look at it. Magma Village. We have a boss here. Oh, sorry. Hot and cold. <laughs> sorry, hot and cold. We have the Smoke Admiral here. Again, I already got this sword because, again, if you want to grind faster here in the second C, make sure to grind this boss. He's easy to defeat, low HP, and near the quest giver. Okay, next up guys, Ice Castle Boss. Why Ice Castle Boss? This boss has the chance to drop a hidden key. So upon getting the hidden key guys, you can open a hidden chest. And that chest will give you the legendary sword ring Goku. So I think the reference of that sword is from the anime uh, Demon Slayer, Kimetsu no Yaiba. So located here guys, right side, you're facing... Uh, the castle, there you go. There you go, Ringoku. One of the best looking swords in the game. For the skills, I think long sword has good uh, visuals. There you go, guys. Check the sword. Okay. Without the haki, there you go. Next up, guys, legendary sword dealer sword. So this NPC has three swords, so he only appears every four hours in a new server. So it's kind of hard to get. So three swords, guys. Wando, Sadi, and... She's, oh no, not, yeah, Shisoi. Guys, those three swords are the requirements to get for Triple Katana. But before that, let's head to the Forgotten Island and defeat the boss here because this boss will drop you another sword. And that sword is the Dragon Trident. Okay, let's make this fast. This boss summons a sea beast, so make sure to prepare for that. 
but if you're using Buddha, no problem. There you go, guys. Dragon Trident. Again, let's go back to the previous one. Guys, you need to get all three legendary swords from the legendary sword dealer, and then you need Mastery 300, okay? Oh, I almost forgot this one, guys. Located at the cursed ship, you just need to get 100 ectoplasm. So, guys, just by defeating mobs here, you can get ectoplasm. Wait, let's wait for it. There you go, guys. Ectoplasm. So again, 100 ectoplasms needed. After that, just talk to this NPC. I think it's L. What it goes? L admin. Something like that. There you go. Okay, then here, and he will sell you or exchange 100 ectoplasm for the midnight blade. There you go. Here is the Magnet Midnight Blade. Actually, <laughs> I forgot this one. This sword is like from uh, other series or some Gundam stuff. <laughs> really looks good, guys. Okay, so guys, next up, order boss, raid boss. So you just need to buy a chip here and defeat Law. Guys, this boss is not easy to defeat, I'm telling you. So you just try to ask for help. <laughs> also, you need 1,000 uh, fragments to buy the chip. There you go. We got the Coco, so the injection something skill is really good. There you go. Plus the cap. Also, you can enhance the skill of this sword by using... Oh, actually, you can enhance the control fruit by using this sword or vice versa. I forgot. So guys, again, back to the legendary swords. You need to get three, so same process to get them. And then 300 mastery on all swords. So guys, Shisui, 300 mastery. Next stop, uh, let's check Sadi. There you go, 300. And last one is Wando. Okay? So once you get all three legendary swords, all you need to do is head to the green zone. Go climb the highest, uh, the peak of the green zone, and you will find an NPC. There you go. And he will sell you the true triple katana. So this one is a mythical sword. There you go, triple katana, true triple katana for 2 million bellies, and here it is. Oh, also a new title unlock, Hurricane. Okay guys, so I think we're done with the second C swords. Now guys, time to head to the third C. Guys, do you want me to make a video on unlocking all combat uh, fight styles? Comment it in the comment section. So now guys, time to head to the third C. There you go. So guys, the swords here are not easy to unlock. So first one that I was able to unlock is the body sword. So located at the Sea of Treats, K Queen guys, 2175 boss. Again, everything was easier because of the Buddha fruit. Also guys, it is not easy to unlock some of the swords here. It took me like 80 times just to unlock them. So there you go guys, we got the body sword. From K Queen Boss. There you go. Okay, next up, guys, Soul Reaper Boss. Guys, you, can, you need uh, what do you call this? The Hollow Essence. Okay, to summon this boss. This is not easy, I'm telling you. You need to get bones. Uh, talk to the Dark King and pray that he will give you Hollow Essence. And you can only spin 10 times every 2 hours, which is not easy. There you go, guys, Hollow Sight. This is also one of the mythical swords. There you go. Here is the hollow site. Okay, so next up, guys. Hmm, I think we still have lots to unlock. Next up, guys. Uh, located at Raja Island. You need to defeat 30, just to be sure. 30 Elite Hunter quests. Finish 30 Elite Hunter quests. Like, for example, this one defeat Urban. So this is the 30th, guys. So after this, we will head to the location of the legendary sword Yama. So this is this sword is also one of the requirements to unlock CDK or the first dual katana. There you go, guys. Head to the waterfalls, and there's a door here. You can destroy this door. There are mobs. Defeat them, and you can now pull the sword Yama. So guys, again, you can only pull this if you've defeated 30. Or finished 30 Elite Hunter quests. Guys, some told me that they were able to pull this at 25. So yeah, if you're lucky, you can do that. But just to be sure, guys, 
30 Elite Hunter Quests. There you go guys, we got it, Yama. Also guys, you can unlock Toshita starting from this area. So, but guys, one of the requirements to unlocking Toshita is you need to summon Rip Indra, okay? Rip Indra, summon the boss using the God's Chalice. So, for example, we're, we've already summoned Indra. Just head to this area. There's a gate here, guys. There you go. So, again, after summoning Indra, you can enter this area. There you go. See that, guys? So guys, here at the floating turtle, you will be teleported and you need to fire five torches. So, I have made, I made a video of this one. So, just check the channel. There you go. There's the first torch, second, third, fourth, and fifth. So after lighting all torches, you will open a hideout. So guys, tip to grinding mastery. Guys, if you want fast mastery, this boss will give you the most mastery. Okay? This boss. Located here. Okay, Longma. Just from the entrance of the Turtle Island, just head to your right and you will find this hideout. So there you go. Once you defeat him, you will get the Toshita. Okay, so these two swords are the requirement to get CDK. But, first up guys, Dark Dagger. So guys, uh, after defeating Tushita and Rip Indra is still there, you can head to the Sea Castle and defeat him. There's a, again a chance to get Dark Dagger. Guys, this is the hardest sword from this video. It took me, uh, I think, 400 Elite Hunters for, I think, more than 80 God Chalices just to get this one so it took me six to seven days just to get this sword guys i'm telling you it's really hard so make sure to follow like and subscribe there you go and that is it dark dagger guys imagine seven days of grinding this sword just to include this in the video for a uh, less than one minute clip <laughs> anyways i had fun doing it so there you go guys dark dagger so after this one Captain Elephant, let's not forget this dude. There you go. After that, guys, uh, you can get the Twin Hooks from this boss. There you go, Twin Hooks. Also, there's another sword here in this uh, area. Uh, Can Vander. Yes, the Beautiful Pirate. So after this boss is that boss. Also, if you want to grind lots of bellies, you can defeat that boss. There you go. Reward is 100,000 if you have two times uh, money. Money rewards. So, beautiful pirate. There you go. Can Vander. So let's check it out. Gamer Gnome, do I need to get this sword? Guys, if you want to collect all swords, then go for it. But if you're going to ask me, the only swords that I use are uh, Yama and CDK. <laughs> My friends also use Pole V2. Next up, guys, we got the Spiky Trident. So, guys, at the Sea of Treats, you need to defeat 500 mobs. Guys, specifically at the island of this NPC. So, there you go. A dimension has spawned, and you need to defeat this boss. There you go, Cake Prince, for a chance to get the Spiky Trident. So, this one we also dropped. The other one, one of the best items so far in the game. Wait, I'm going to show it to you after we defeat this one. There you go. And... Oh. Okay. Yeah, there you go. The Pale Scarf. Okay, guys. So, let's check this out. There you go. And after this one, guys. Here it is. Finally, <laughs> the Pole V2. For the requirement, you need Pole V1, obviously. Plus Rumble Fruit, make sure to get 250 Masteries. Plus, you need to uh, do 6 Raids. That's a lot, right? Yeah. There you go. So, after this one, almost done. Boom. Okay. So after this, at the 6th Raid, you will be teleported here. So, I think it's Yoshi, right? Yeah, let's check. The Thunder God Boss. Yeah. There it is. Yep. Not Yoshi. Yeah. Thunder God. Say goodbye. Actually, we'll have a separate sword here. Let's talk to him. After this, one more sword, yes, and that is the CDK. Oh, and the Dark Blade. 
So guys, for those wandering Dark Blade, I already got it on my other account. And everyone knows how to unlock it. I just you just need uh regal this Robux or you can trade it for maybe fruits like maybe 10 leopard fruits, something like that. Anyway, check it out. Here is the pole v2. I think last two swords, right? Guys, you already have the fox lamp, and I made a uh, separate video of that. Next one is the shark anchor. So, guys, you need the shark magnet. So, this magnet will attract the irregular beast. And that terror shark has 195,000 HP. So, guys, you cannot get the shark anchor from a normal terror shark. Again, you need the magnet. Yes, and if you summon a shark with that magnet, that magnet will disappear. Okay, so there you go, guys. Now we have the shark anchor. And finally, guys, last sword, the CDK. So I'm just gonna show you a brief guide on how to get it. There you go. At the mansion, head at the back, you will find an NPC and you need to talk to him. So make sure that you have the enough mastery for the Yama and Tushita. There you go. Crypt Master. The other side, there's an entrance. And you need to finish the two sword trials. So one at the right. There you go, the Yama Scroll Trial and the Tushita Trial. So I have, again, another separate video of that. You need to get Alucard uh, Gems. There you go. And after finishing all quests, you will summon this one. There you go. The Holder of the Cursed Dual Katana. So guys, I was able to defeat this one easily, but there's a bug. But good thing is, the moment I finish this, Check this out guys, the screen turned dark. I thought I wasn't able to get the sword, but with just the reset, I got the cursed dual katana. So guys, check it out guys. It's kind of scary to be honest, because what if uh, there's a bug, so developers need to fix this bug first before I can post the video. And it's been like two weeks since I posted, right? Anyways guys, I'm back. I will be posting more videos on Blast Fruits and maybe uh, what do you call this? What game is this? Pal World. <laughs> For those who don't know, that is a game similar to Pokemon. Anyway, guys, let's just check the CDK if it's there. And we're gonna end this video. Okay. Yeah, for the for those who don't know, the name of this account is RIP Malagkit. <laughs> the first uh, item or fruit of this fruit is Doe Fruit. That's why it's Malagkit. So guys, there you go, guys. We have the CDK. So again, I hope that you enjoyed this Kanbak video. Again, we will be posting more videos. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is Gamer Nom. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.